Um, all right, we do want to listen to uh, voicemail of Truth and Reason from uh, North Canton. We bring you Ken and his comments. This is Ken from North Canton. Dennis, a couple of weeks ago, you were talking about player movement during free agency in the NBA. In three or four years, the CBA and the NBA comes up for expiration. Do you foresee any movement by the owners to get some power back to curtail some of the uh, movement from the NBA players? And if so, well, if they do try to do that, you foresee a, maybe a big labor strike if they try to do it. All right, Ken, thank right you now, very much. You know a local team, you lose one player, and now you become Sacramento East. Thank right. you. Right. All right, so here's, here's the problem. If the owners did what the players did, they'd be in trouble with collusion with the commissioner. The right. players in the NBA stacked their teams or, or their teammates, and that seems to be okay with a lot of people. Yeah, I, listen, I don't think you can put the genie back in the bottle. When players get the amount of power that they've gotten, and I want to say it was since LeBron, since LeBron and the Heat. I, maybe it happened before that, but as far I as I can so. remember, same here. it really took off. If it started earlier, fine, but it took off under LeBron in the heat. Once players get that kind of power, they're not giving it back. No. All right? Unless you have a catastrophic uh, work stoppage. But here's the reason why I don't think you would have a work stoppage. The owners – are laughing or, in this case, crying because there's no parity, there's lack of parity, they're crying all the way to the bank, all right? If the player power was directly tied to dramatically decreasing revenues, then, you then the you're messing with yeah. the owners. But even the owner of the perennial dog team in this association... And we know there are many. Yeah, but it's the Knicks. Who for decades don't get to the playoffs, or if they do, they're one and done. Right. Even those owners are bathing in, in cash. When they turn the shower on, $100 bills are shooting out of the shower. Well, that's head. only because they don't have $1,000 bills anymore. They can't avoid making money. Even in a an association or a league that's set up with such lack but, of parity. But therefore... The owners are going to be like, you know what? It's good for business. Even if we have to lose on a regular basis. Okay, you're a thousand percent right. It's good right. for business. But these guys are all egomaniacs. Don't they want to win anymore? They want money more than they want to win. Sorry. It's pretty sad. Sorry. Here's my point, Les. Yeah. And to the viewers. Think of the four majors, okay? They'll throw hockey in just to satisfy the NHL. How many owners of professional teams in those four sports are eager to unload their franchise right about now, Les. Well, no. How many of them want to get rid of their franchise? I don't see any standing in line. <laughs> I'm waiting. Nothing but crickets. No, you're right. If they're losing money, they want to unload, right? <laughs> they're all crying poverty. Yeah. Oh, by oh, the way. Oh, we don't have this, and we don't have that, and you don't understand. This mm -hmm. revenue's down. Are you selling? Heck to the no. They're not selling because and, they're making money. And That's by the why. way, that includes your Cleveland Indians. And they know the minute they sell, they're going to make hundreds of millions of dollars on that transaction. All right, talking about.